Hi, this is Diane Love to Bake on YouTube. And what we're going to make are cookies. And if you have probably seen maybe some of my other videos, you know I do like quick and easy recipes, but I want them to taste good too. Well, this is another cookie that is easy to make and it is a great tasting cookie. And believe it or not, the ingredients that you're going to be putting in is coconut, okay, oatmeal, rolled oats, and your favorite crispy cereal that many of us are used to making with marshmallows, and you know which one I'm referring to. So it produces a really chewy yet crisp cookie, and oh, they, they are so good. So I can't wait to get started to show you. Uh, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to give you all the ingredients right off the bat. I'll try to go clearly and slowly, so if you're interested, you could take notes. I'm sorry, I no longer list my, uh, my recipe below uh, my video, uh, and I'll explain in that in a little time to come. So, you will need either a stand-up or a uh, hand mixer. Uh, I uh, particularly like my stand because of the video. Uh, it's quicker, it's easier for me. Um, so we're going to first start off with one cup of granulated sugar and I'm just going to put that in my mixing bowl. That was one cup. The next thing that you're going to put in is one cup of brown sugar. Now use light or dark, it doesn't matter uh, which one. I'm just going to give it a quick stir. So that was one cup of each. Next, you're going to put one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, and you're going to put one teaspoon of cream of tartar. And I'm going to stir that in. Now, many of you are saying, well, gee, why isn't she putting that with the other dry ingredients? Not really sure why, but this recipe, uh, you know, really requires it to go in that way, and they come out fantastic. Okay, the next thing that you're going to be putting in is one cup of butter. Now, and I've had it at room temperature, so it's relatively soft. Go ahead, if you don't have butter, don't like butter, you can use margarine. I've used both, tried it in two recipes and people really loved them either way so use butter uh, which I'm using one cup or margarine it's up to you okay and I'm just going to put that all in there okay and I'm going to warn you about the sound of my mixer I'm going to start creaming that in those sugars and those dry ingredients that you're going to be putting in is one cup of oil. Use whatever type of oil that you want. That's so debat de uh, debatable these days. I, I don't touch that anymore. I just tell you, use one cup of oil depending on what you prefer to use. Okay? You're also going to be putting in one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. Now, the next thing that you're going to put in is one egg. One egg. Now I'm going to warn you about the sound of the mixer. Part that I think is the hardest part of making the recipe. You really need to beat this for at least two minutes. You want it smooth, you want it creamy, and you want it light. 
and you know you want to do it at about medium speed it really depends on the power of your uh, mixer uh, or hand mixer what number you set it on uh, but at least two minutes to cream it all together now I'm going to raise the speed the sound is going to go up so I'm going to warn you but I do need to blend this quickly so this video doesn't drag on I didn't beat it at medium speed for um, that two minutes that I suggested but I just raised the speed and again bears repeating moving it moving it along okay now I'm just going to take my spatula and get to the sides a little bit here and I think I am going to turn it on just for a couple more seconds so again heads up on the sound you beat that and that two minutes you are going to get a really nice creamy light mixture okay now the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to slowly start putting in flour okay and you will need three and a half cups of flour three and a half and just mix it on uh, you know low so it doesn't go all over your kitchen the flour speed what you'll want to do is to blend that for at least a minute or so but again I raised mine to move it along the next thing is you really only have to stir it in you don't really have to require more beating and that kind of thing you're going to need one cup of oatmeal okay I'm just going to stir that in going to need one cup of coconut this is actually a sweetened uh, flaked coconut <coughs> excuse me Next is the last thing that you're going to put in is one cup of that crispy rice cereal. Okay? One cup. And again, I'm raising my speed just to move it along. You'll just want to stir it. course you're going to need a cookie tray or cookie pan you don't have to spray it you don't have to grease it or anything like that if you want to use your parchment paper feel free now the um, what you're also going to do is you're going to need some granulated sugar in a bowl and then I like this particular glass this is actually a one of the very old glasses from my parents restaurant from many many years ago that I still have and it's just the perfect size for this and just put you know maybe a half a cup of granulated sugar um, you know in a, in a bowl and you need a flat bottom glass okay um, now on the scoop that I'm using I'm using this size right now and that's about a tablespoon and I got about 60 um, let me think yes 
I got about 62 cookies out of this size. If you want to get more cookies out of them, use your teaspoon size. Use your smaller one or use a teaspoon and you'll get, a, you know, you'll yield more. You can get 72 to sometimes 84 cookies. Um, I, I wanted them a little bit bigger and, and, and less volume. So I got 62 uh, uh, cookies with this size, okay? But again, if you want to, you know, spread your recipe out, you know, that, that kind of thing. Um, and um, let me just get this out and the paddle. Set that aside. And then I'm just going to, you know, grab an even flat amount of this. Now, you'll want to place these cookies about two inches apart because they are going to spread a little bit. Now, you're going to bake them at 350 degrees. Also, this is when you use that glass that I told you about, the flat bottom with some granulated sugar. Just slightly press them down. You don't want to make them super flat because when they bake, they're going to flatten out too. So just lightly uh, flatten them, okay, and keep them two inches apart. Now, they can take anywhere from 10 to 14 minutes. Um, I must tell you, I'm going to explain and show you the cookie in a moment. Um, but I actually start uh, checking mine within about seven minutes or so. Do rotate, of course, your your baking, you know, two trays at a time. Uh, rotate your your cookies um, as your as you're baking. And you know, our ovens set up our ovens all set up so differently. So I don't want you to over bake these cookies. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is real quickly. I'm just going to take off one of my gloves here. And I'm going to show you what these cookies look like once they're baked up. And this is how they do turn out. I bake them up to this very pale uh, brown. Uh, it has a nice light golden brown on the bottom. Okay, I don't know if, I don't know if you can you can see that and that's a good size cookie they're relatively thin as you see they do flatten out even though I slightly flattened them with that uh, sugar on the glass but they're a thin cookie uh, they also let me take off this other other glove for the moment okay um, I'm gonna break the cookie open and you can see it's very chewy and very moist, this cookie. So you'll have a, you know, sort of a semi-hard uh, on the top, and then the bottom will be a hard finish too. But they are just the chewiest, moist uh, cookie. Because you, you know, you get that flavor of that coconut and that cereal just gives it enough like crisp to it that they're fantastic now if you don't want them to be uh, more on the softer or chewy side you can bake them till they're a darker brown I don't know if you can see that or not the difference of the two okay but once it bakes up once it bakes up it's going to be very crisp when you break it and you're going to be able to hear it break and it breaks up into little pieces so it's a drier cookie so it's really depending upon you how you want to bake these whether you want to bake them to their very pale in color as these are and they're a chewy consistency I prefer that and I've had people say they preferred it more this way because it seems like with the um, the coconut. You even notice the coconut more in the cookie. But it'll be up to you to decide. But traditionally, this recipe is fantastic as a chewy cookie. So there you have it. Um, I'm sorry, as I mentioned earlier, I no longer put the recipes below um, the video anymore because, you know, this is the part I always say to everybody, if you try this recipe and you liked it, well, leave a comment because I like to hear from you. Uh, but 
what's happened, and I'm not alone on it, that's for sure. Uh, I've found my work in other places where it's been pinned and posted and claimed as other people's videos, and nothing's more frustrating than seeing you writing a comment or taking the time to write and have a question and I can't answer you. So please, if you would be kind enough just to check out my recipes on YouTube only because that's the only place that I put my videos on. And once you do write to me or you have a question or you've liked this recipe because you've tried it, I'll answer you in a timely fashion, okay? So I want to thank you for watching Diane Love to Bake on YouTube. If you're so inclined and you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I have many cookies and breads and bagels and Italian pizza doughs, over 660 uh, videos. I hope you check it out. Please subscribe if you're so inclined. Uh, if you'd like to just give me a like, boy, I'd appreciate that. So thank you for watching Diane Love to Bake on YouTube. Stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.